Let's make fresh cavatelli pasta. All you need is two ingredients, flour and hot water. For every two cups of flour, you need a half a cup of hot water. You can also add salt and baking powder if you'd like. It's a tough dough, but you roll it out and then you let it sit for 10 minutes. Then you hit, uh, break off pieces to make a nice dough rope. The reason why is that I'm going to use a cover dally maker. I bought this in the North End in Boston. And um, you don't make cover dallies by hand. This thing makes them. It never fails. It works great. And you feed the machine. You feed the rope of dough from one end. And it just easily goes through. I'm making them really slow here so you can see. And it makes the cover dally. Now, you can spread the cavatelli out on cloth with some flour or put them in trays. Once you put it on the tray, if you're not going to use it in the next couple of hours, you can put that tray in the freezer. Once the macaroni pasta is frozen, you put them in a bag and you freeze. This is such a versatile pasta. It's great. It's um, it's not as heavy as gnocchi, which is made with potato. And you could also make cavatelli with regatta cheese. So this one is the simplest one. It's really quick, really easy. I do not use a hand um, tool. I use the cavatelli maker. They come out even. They come out the same. I love it. It, it's, it is my favorite pasta. Um, and it's just when it's fresh like this, it's great. Okay. 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 Now you can put a couple more. Okay. Now you can put a couple more.